This picture behind you shows three different organisms and it's basically an entire ecosystem of inception happening right before your eyes. Hi, my name is Nancy. I'm an entomologist, which means that I study bugs and I live in Quito, Ecuador, and I'm currently taking an online wasp course, so I'm learning a lot about wasps. I took this picture a couple years ago when I came to Ecuador first with students and my mind was blown when I learned about what was happening. Okay, step one. You see this green thing right here? That is a hornworm caterpillar. So that's organism one. All right, now you see this white fluff over here? They look like eggs, but they're actually not. These are cocoons of a wasp. There's a wasp that laid its egg inside this caterpillar. Its larva develops slowly eating the caterpillar away, first starting with the blood, then moving on to the non-essential organs before moving on to the brain and the heart, barely keeping this paralyzed caterpillar alive. So that way they could all pupate or form cocoons on the outside of this caterpillar. So all these white things are individual cocoons of wasps that were previously living inside this thing's body. Under normal circumstances, the caterpillar would die, the wasp would emerge from their cocoons, and the cycle would start over. Enter player three, that little yellow wasp right up there. She is also a parasitoid wasp, so she also needs to lay her eggs inside another organism. Those eggs will develop into larvae, they'll eat that organism from the inside out and burst from the body cavity. But instead of attacking this caterpillar, she is looking to parasitize the parasitoids on the caterpillar. This is what we call a hyperparasitoid because she is a parasitoid on parasitoids of other insects. She's what's called a secondary parasitoid or a hyperparasitoid because she is parasitizing the other parasitoids. However, this is just two layers deep. You can actually get hyperparasitoids up to five levels of inception. So you can have a hyperparasitoid of a hyperparasitoid of a hyperparasitoid of a hyperparasitoid on a parasitoid on an original insect. And just like that, your mind is blown because this is an entire ecosystem on just one caterpillar.